This is Shadea. This is Shadash. Welcome to the online Bible study brought to you by Grace TV. Here we serve bite-sized spiritual meals through Soul Food First. Please like and follow the Grace TV Facebook page. And please subscribe to the Grace TV YouTube channel. We hope you are ready. Please stand by. Season 3 of Soul Food First is about to be served! This is Pastor Dean Padayag. Welcome to Soul Food First. On Tuesday, we learned that God changed the dispensation of the law to the dispensation of grace. In this dispensation, Paul is the apostle, the preacher, and the teacher, not the twelve apostles. He received the message and the ministry in this present time, and he encouraged the people to follow him as he followed Christ. We also learn that Christ did not send Paul to baptize, but to preach the gospel. Despite being baptized and despite having baptized others, water baptism was not part of Paul's message and ministry. We also learn that no one among Paul's fellow workers or fellow laborers in the dispensation of grace were sent to baptize. Again, we must understand that John the Baptist, the Lord Jesus Christ, and the twelve apostles, despite teaching and practicing water baptism, they were not ministers under the dispensation of grace. They were under the law. So, if Paul was not sent to baptize, if his own fellow workers were not sent to baptize, who was sent to baptize and what element was being used? Let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 13. The Bible says, For by one Spirit, now take note of the word by, because it's very important in our lesson today. For by one Spirit, we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, whether slaves or free, and have uh, all been made to drink, into one body again in this passage take note of the word by it means that he is the performer he is the baptizer he is in charge of this baptism he is doing it now question who is this baptizer who is this by him there is this baptism the answer is the spirit and when we mean the spirit it means that that's the Holy Spirit. Who is He? He is the third person of the Holy Trinity. This verse says that He is the baptizer. Now in Pentecost, we learn that Christ was the baptizer and the Holy Spirit was the baptism element. But in the dispensation of grace, the Holy Spirit is now the baptizer. He is the baptizer as indicated to us with the word by in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 13. The Apostle Paul also talks about God as the baptizer in Colossians chapter 2, verse 11. The Bible says, Buried with Him in baptism, in which you also were raised through Him, or with him through faith in the working of God. In other version, in the operation of God. Meaning God is the one doing it. Who raised him from the dead. Here we find that this is a spiritual baptism. Not a water baptism. Not a material. Not a physical 
uh, baptism. It is not a water baptism as I mentioned, but it is a spiritual one. It is a baptism through faith, not through water, not through physical or material elements. It is the working or the operation of God, the Holy Spirit, who raised up Christ from the dead, not in the working of man and not in the working of any other religious leader. But the question is, if the Holy Spirit is the baptizer, what would be the element being used in this baptism? Is it water or something else? Definitely, it's not water. Nowhere in the scriptures we find that the Holy Spirit uh, baptize using water to the people. This spiritual baptism would result to a person being put into Christ and no amount of water, no water baptism can do that. This is a spiritual baptism so dry and no water involved. To understand this, let's go to the book of Romans, chapter 6, verses 3 down to verse 4. The Bible says, Or do you not know that as many of us were baptized into a Christ Jesus, were baptized into his death? Verse 4 says, Therefore we were buried with him through baptism into death, not into water, but into death that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so, we also should walk in the newness of life. Again, Colossians chapter 2, verse 11, the Bible talks about this baptism. It says, Buried with Him in baptism, in which you also were raised with Him through faith in the working of God or in the operation of God who raised him from the dead. In these two verses, Paul is talking about a spiritual baptism performed by the Holy Spirit and no water involved. He is talking about Christ's death, burial, and resurrection. And in 1 Corinthians 15, verses 1 through 4, the Apostle Paul calls this the gospel. Now, the question is, why does the Holy Spirit use Christ's death, burial, and resurrection as the element of baptism? Is Christ's death a baptism? The answer is a big yes. What happened to Christ at Calvary was a baptism. Luke chapter 12 verse 50, here we find Jesus Christ saying, But I have a baptism to be baptized with, and how distressed I am till it is accomplished. Remember, Christ was already baptized with water at the beginning of his ministry. Now, towards the end of his ministry, he received or he is going to receive another baptism. And this one is not with water, but he is talking about his death. Here, Christ was referring to his second baptism, his death baptism on the cross. And again, this happened toward the end of his ministry. So, how does this baptism work? Well, in this present dispensation of grace, when we believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and trust the gospel of our salvation, the Holy Spirit baptizes us into Christ, particularly into His death. And through this baptism, we become identified with Christ. What happened to Christ at Calvary also happened to us by grace through faith. Meaning, when Christ died by faith, we also died with Him. When Christ was buried by faith, we were also buried with Him. And when He rose again, by faith, we also rose again with Christ. And what happened to Christ historically more than 2,000 years ago 
happened to us now experientially in the dispensation of grace and that is by faith. That is our identification with Christ. That is our baptism. That is exactly what Romans chapter 6 verses 3 and 4 is saying that we become identified with Christ by faith. When Christ died, we died. When he was buried, we were also buried. And when he was he rose again, we also rose again with him. And this is a very powerful baptism. It can save a person. It can put a person into the body of Christ. It can seal a person. It can secure a person. It can uh, make a person sit with Jesus Christ in heavenly places. And it can make a person walk in the newness of life. In Ephesians chapter 1 verses 13 through 14, this passage or passages tell us how to experience this baptism. The Bible says, In Him you also trusted after you heard the word of truth, I should say, the gospel of your salvation, that is, believe in Christ, His death, His burial and resurrection, in whom also... Having believed, you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, who is the guarantee of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased position to the praise of His glory. Again, here, uh, Apostle Paul is saying that a person must trust after hearing the word of truth, the gospel of uh, his salvation and then the moment that faith is put upon the gospel and upon the Lord Jesus Christ the Holy Spirit himself will put his seal upon that person and that seal is the guarantee that that person is saved and uh, sealed fully secure until the rapture all these things and many more can't be accomplished by water baptism nor by human baptizers. This can only be done by God Himself. And no wonder that God did not trust or entrust this baptism to any mankind, not even to Apostle Paul, but only to the Holy Spirit. This is the one baptism that Ephesians chapter 4, verse 5 is talking about. Now, if Paul will continue baptizing with water and then the Holy Spirit will continue baptizing people into Christ with a spiritual baptism, then it will no longer be one baptism but two. It will be a total disagreement with Ephesians chapter 4 verse 5. Now we understand, beloved, why Christ did not send Apostle Paul to baptize but to preach the gospel. Apostle Paul was not sent to baptize but to preach the gospel. Why? Because the work of baptizing people today in this present time is the work of the Holy Spirit, not mankind, not people. The Holy Spirit is the one who baptizes people into Christ. So, it means that it doesn't matter if you have been baptized with water a thousand times. If you have not been baptized by the Holy Spirit into Christ by grace through faith, you are not saved. You just got wet. Beloved, tune in uh, tomorrow as we continue with this series. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy your soul food.